Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Uh, excuse me. Out of my way, fancy pants. On second thought, stop right there. You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? Uh, 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 help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Please, not in my new coat! Maybe I should cut you one out of cement. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded! This is my lucky night! Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre! Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No. I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. He looks buff. I don't think he'd like that. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. What do you think you're doing? No one touches her but me. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Pounds and pounds of nails. Pounds and pounds of nails. Get away from there. I need all of them. Hey, don't touch that. It's not a toy. It says Woody. That's me. That's about the best peg leg I've ever seen. Thanks. I made it myself. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. It's a metronome. Hey, hired help only. Nice. Largo's been here. That's sick. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. The shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and 
Foul tasting is that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. There's no glass in the window. There's no glass in the window. It's a cold potato and leek soup. It's too heavy. He looks really into his cooking. He looks really into his cooking. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Sharp. Ugh, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. I hate fruit cocktail. And there's no glass in the window. Hello. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um, sister once had. It's too small. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Nice map. Drew it myself. It's a pile of blank paper. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With the sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time.
Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. <laughs>